Hey you guys, my name is Lena, you on my YouTube channel and here we're talking about style, shopping, thrifting and everything like that and we all know why we are here today so let's start. If you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen me carrying around this little Prada bag. It's original Prada from early 2000 and I got it on Poshmark, it was around like $600 but I had a posh discount at the moment so I got it much cheaper and it's in pretty great condition for 20 years old bag that makes me think that Prada nylon is really high quality fabric of course it has some discoloration but it can happen with this type of fabric for years and I like how Mucha Prada make this nylon fabric stuff kind of stylish I heard some people say that they just don't want to pay such amount of money on nylon bag and I don't get this point because if we're talking about quality nylon can be much more durable and not as high maintenance as some leather it also usually water resistant and it's easier to clean but if we're talking about just the design aspect the visual part of it I think this such a personal thing. I think for example for this model the nylon bag looks much more cooler, much more trendy and stylish than the similar they have in Safiana leather. But I'm pretty sure there are people that disagree with me and it's okay, you know, like whatever floats your boat. So just choose what you like and don't listen what people say. So I wore this one a little bit and decided that I want the same but a little bit different. So I bought myself the Prada 2005 re-edition. I bought it through the original website and pick it up in the nearest Prada store, so let's look inside. And there are a lot of videos on YouTube with unboxing 2000 re-edition and 2005 but with this crossbody belt and the little pouch, but I've hardly seen a video about unboxing the regular 2005 and I personally like to watch videos like this before buying something, so I decided to do this video so it can be helpful for some of you who are thinking about getting yourself one of these bags right now so I finished promise let's open this one I like this little touch with the ribbon on the paper bag by the way it can be used in some hairstyles I think it looks pretty cute in some ponytails After a blue box and printed paper, you'll see a small dust bag. By the way, print on this dust bag should be dark blue for authentic pieces and not black. And here we finally see my new favorite bag. It comes with a stack on one side that should be attached if you decide to return it. After all this paper inside, we also have the authenticity certificate card. This white card should have all the information about the bag, model, color and printed date and place where bag was purchased. I have Prada.com here since I ordered it online. And it has this charm with a bag name. As you see it says Prada Re-Edition 2005 for this one. And there are two main reasons why I picked this up instead of regular 2000 re-edition. The first one, the handle is longer and thinner, so it's easier to carry on the shoulder if you need to. Also, the handle in this one made from Safiana leather instead of fabric here. But I think they both look nice, so it's just a question of personal preferences. And the second reason, here they just sewn together, while here we have this metal hoops and I like this idea that I can attach something to this hoops because I'm going to wear this one for a long time and maybe in the future I will want to add some cross body strap or some chain or maybe some accessories like charms if they will be a thing someday so so this one is my first big designer purchase and of course I used to have some bags from Louis Vuitton, Celine and Burberry 
and stuff like that but all of them were thrifted or bought through resellers so it's not the same things so this one is already special for me and i let myself to spend such amount of money on one bag because it wasn't an impulsive purchase i wanted this one for a long time and from now on this bag will be part of my basic wardrobe we'll have different lifestyles style preferences we all live in a different climate work on a different job so we all will have different base and this bag perfect for mine and let me know in the comments if you would like to see the video about my basic wardrobe because i think a lot of people can relate to it so i don't regret buying this bag at all i'm literally obsessed with it and i can't wait to wear it with so many outfits and you're probably gonna see it a lot let me know in the comments which one would you pick which one do you like more and by the way since i don't need to have like two super similar bags this one i resell at my depop store so you can always find a link in the description box so go and check it out this little baby can be yours thank you so much for watching hope this video was helpful for some of you anyway have an amazing weekend and i will see you in the next one i said beam me up i'm on fire i'm on my ground because that's all we know we know beam me up i'm getting higher i'm on mine got me singing all we know we know beam me up i'm on fire i'm on my ground got me singing oh yeah